But the thing with Diddy is that he has such oppressive hitboxes sometimes that can just come up in your face and just kind of stop a lot of her really good movement options. So it kind of messes with her. So if MVD plays a little bit more aggressive, uh, it might work out well for him, but uh, it depends on how he decides to play. This is going to be the best Peach you're going to play. Yeah. That's 100% Samsung the best Peach. Yeah. No argument. No and argument there for sure. And, uh, and it's going to be the best Peach. It's like the best Peach you're going to play MVD, so it's just going to put the matchup to the test right here. Because at the time, it's zero out. This might be the highest level play of this matchup we might see from now yeah, on MVD yeah. and Samsung here. They're just kind of putting their tags in, hoping to get this game on the way. And I, I think, think uh, Zero did name MVD the best Diddy in his uh, video where he talked about the best player of each character. And uh, I, can, I can agree with that yeah. at points. You know, uh, MVD is kind of the only, like, uh, sole representative who's gotten really good results as of lately. I would agree. Um, I'm hoping to see more of Zenodo. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, he's coming up too. Yeah, I'm hoping to see more of him. Um, definitely one of my favorite players we're as gonna well. But, game uh, one. Yeah. yeah, we're going to be starting FD. game one on uh, FD. We're going to pick the bands. We're going to go game one FD. And we're going to see the Peach um, versus Diddy here. MVD versus Sam Sora. And oh, yeah, these are going to have with little projectiles. It's going to be fun to watch how both of these characters use their projectiles against each other, as we're seeing so far. The turnip and the banana go back and forth. The fruit versus the vegetable. <laughs> That's so true. And uh, the thing is that um, I feel like right now, okay, that dare pressure is doing really good, but that back air going to land on the banana. We're going to get that to And MVD has, I'm pretty sure so far, has only pulled banana and pear. <laughs> I feel like that's just the way you have to kind of play this matchup, so it's going to be a little bit slower. Right the here. pressure from Sam Sora right now. Insane. Yep, and just more bananas and more pairs. That's the thing. Sam Sora's actually playing this quite well. He's yeah. kind of just moving around, kind of kind of trying to feel it out, actually. Right, I like how he's just trying to stay back. He's like, all right, I'm going to stay out of your fair range, and I'm just going to get in when I need to. And as you see, punishing the fairs there, and MBD just <laughs> can't find his footing. And the nether fair, that's gonna do it for a stock right here. <laughs> Definitely not what I was expecting. Catch out those monkey flips to gain the optimal punish in that situation. Yeah, and Samsung is looking so clean so far. I'm liking it. Nice oh, that back, back. Very good spacing. Okay, so far, uh, uh, MBD, nice reaction to the roll with the dash attack. Unconventional for you see a Diddy dash attack, but hey, it works. That's going to be your bread and butter conversions right there. But that monkey flip right in your face is going to catch that. Yeah, especially with the monkey flip when you actually go to kick out. It has so much priority on so many moves. So MVD is going to have to work on the deficit here. But uh, Samsora <laughs> with these Z-drop pairs. And he's controlling the turn up really well right now. I think he's, he's only been hit by Banana once so far. And he's just floating at a perfect distance in order so MVD can't really do much here. Put it around down to the upper. Not going to kill yet, though. Some sort is doing a really good job with his approaches, I feel. It's just like he's able to get in pretty easily. And punishing these details very well. Really well, I would say. In that fair, it's so close. Definitely would have killed there, but I mean, looking a bit too hard for that up smash. Yeah. He's gonna punish back though. And so another thing we were talking about earlier, just Peach and Peach, Peach and Samsora is overall just his movement so clean. Yeah, and, and the one thing about Peach is he's so scary, and you might not look like it until you actually play against a Peach, is that that fair is so scary to play against. Yeah, like, definitely. It's <laughs> extremely hard to punish, especially with, if the Peach uh, float cancels it. It's hard to punish, and it hits like a truck. We know Queen. We know Crown Curse that much, man. <laughs> and like, fair? Oh, not going to be able to get that. Definitely mix up that Miss Samsora. Definitely likes to go to. And I like every time everybody gets close to the shield, Samsora is able to pressure him with um, down air. Oh. I'm still able to get that double back air. Yeah, and everybody maybe being able to slow Samsora down a little bit here. Yeah, MVD doing a good job of slowly kind of making this back, but Samsora already has a my kill percent, so he's played very safe. Yeah, Samsora is slowing out a lot of these fairies, because like I said, it's really hard to punish. That's oh, that, that, that's yeah. gonna be a trade. Yeah, both back are trading here, but I'm not gonna kill. The downer barely catching the true frame. And the up air! So close! <laughs> gonna frame jump with the nair. And I mean, he feels a little bit too fresh. He's like, I'm gonna go all the way on this side, I'll see you later. And that was actually a very risky move coming from MVD, but it works out for him just, just right. Yeah, I'd agree. It's a bit of a risky, but it definitely worked out the way he wanted it to. Okay, and back though, usually the kill cut option, I don't I didn't think he was gonna steal it, but oh, oh big opportunity really there, nice and that's roll. a roll read. Good stuff. Throwing the turn down, putting him on stage. And I think MVD's like, whoa, I'm on stage now? And then he's like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> and Samsung is just taking advantage of that and catching the roll with a focus on an air. Overall, I'd say that um, Samsung was 
pretty much in control a lot of the oh, time sorry. in that game. Mostly, and, mostly. Uh, yeah, Evidy was having a little bit of trouble slowing him down. But when he just slowed, when you see um, Evidy slow him down, he's got his all his banana conversions and all that. But it's mostly for the most part, some slower is just kind of running over him. Yeah, and uh, just in case you guys were wondering, Mellow Yellow, oh, the shirt no, he's wearing oh, now, it's yeah. actually a soft drink. Oh. We don't have that in Canada, <laughs> so maybe it's just a U.S. thing. I don't know. But, I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, because <laughs> this is Canada. That's, that's really cool. But uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing Lilat. Um, MVD's favorite stage. Uh, we had to talk about this yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had to talk about this yesterday. <laughs> in the car where you get, to get food at MVD. You had to talk about Lilat. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> right now, MVD doing much better in game two here. Take it out. Yeah. Up there, upper, yep, this is going to be working out so well and building that percent. It's kind of like that Diddy Vortex, yeah. I guess, to kind of uh, kind of get out of. Well, out of there, it's, like, it's like fighting MVD on his home turf. Yeah, <laughs> Much honestly. harder. That's right, looking for an opening. Finally gets one off the grab. going to be a back air. Oh, nice read on the roll in. Diddy's roll so fast, it's going to be so hard to read at times. I love that F throw, because she just grabs you and just slaps you. It's yeah. <laughs> so disrespectful, but... And that fair. He's not careful. That fair can also catch roll, which is really Yeah, really it can catch rolls. It, it's such a big hitbox, and it's such a like hard-hitting hitbox. It's definitely yeah, very scary. And Outflash is definitely going to do it. Yeah. That's just the consistency factor of Diddy right there. Just that down to Outflash is going to be taking that stop. I do. Try to get the upload after, but don't. Holding away from some sort of there. And MVD actually in the lead. And I like how MVD likes to go for up tilts uh, to kind of uh, extend combo sometimes, and it works out pretty well. Especially, especially on Glonies, especially on Peach, because Peach is always going to be floating above your head. Ooh, and getting the bait there. Talked about hitting so hard. Oh, that, cool. uh, that grab barely whiffing. Uh, just, I believe that might have just been because of uh, Diddy's hurt box shifting whenever he falls down with Fair. Yeah, that, that can also be true. Um, if he falls down with Fair or something like that, Diddy can have the pancakes in a way, like yeah. crouching. And it's really hard to hit him. Ooh, so fast on the up air there, I would have seen that coming. Yeah, to be honest, landing with that Nair was a very risky decision from MVD. He's just playing very, uh, very brave. Yeah, and I love how every time um, Sensor feels that MVD's going to jab, since it's a little pro cancel to drop it there, and it almost like whips, it almost like beats grabs. Yeah, so doing a really good job of doing that, but, uh, oh, it's going to be a down tilt fair, yep. Fair, and reading it with the back air, <laughs> love this little string Sensor is running through it. I feel like when Sensor gets an advantage thing, he, like, runs with it as much as he can. Even though he's stringing things together, he's reading your options, he's just running with it. He's doing such a good job of it so far. Is that, Was that a stitch? Because that I, did so much shield damage. Did so much, and he catches it, but it's not going to kill. Oh, it oh, did it kill. kill! Wow, <laughs> my gosh. Okay, that so was that... nuts. And he's so calm. He's like, yeah, I did that. You know, let's just stand. That's okay. just another day at work, man. That's just nine to five right there. Definitely have to talk <laughs> about that. Definitely did not think that was going to kill. But Sam Sora, you know, one of those players that's so knowledgeable about his character, yeah. he went for it because he knew it was going to kill. The base stop back on Uppy is so, so ridiculous. That high, it's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely kill you. He died at 60 after well, that. Him. Like, not like, I, didn't, I didn't expect that. I was gonna say. That, was like, that was like a one... Uh, it's not even like he got the jank hit with the up either. It's just like, it just yeah. all the hits just killed with all and that rage. I think all of it came from some sort of just kind of string, shaking MD for a while, catching his options. And MD's like, I need to get out of the situation. I think a lot of the time, you see people with Samsora, it's like, Samsora puts you under so much pressure where you kind of take an option to get out of the situation, and he punishes that option. Yeah, and Samsora kind of going through a, kind of like a peach vortex, just down yeah, throw back here. It's like crazy, right. already at 63%. Uh, is it, as we kind of talked about before the game, it's like this peach movement can be so intimidating. The way she moves, the way she goes back and forth, how fast she goes up and down, it can just be very intimidating. Uh, I'm gonna go. get that banana to that update. I'm very curious as to uh, Centaur's tag. Oh, Baba? Very oh, curious, but uh, maybe I'll ask him about that yeah. afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask him later. Oh, you is that, that fair? fair? Catching him jumping? Is that just doing such a wonderful <laughs> job right now? Sam Sword is playing so commandingly. MVD just taking a, his hands off the controller, yeah, wiping breather. it down, taking a breather, and has to get right back into this. Yeah, MVD is going to kind of think about how he's going to approach yeah. that at times like this because he's down a stock. This, this might just be his final game. Yeah, and MVD is like, he's trying to, I think he's trying to get the banana play to work, but Sam Sword is always getting a hold of this banana somehow. Oh, and try yeah, to catch that, uh, possibly a monkey flip. That up there. I think I'm not going to hit the button there. I'm not going to air dodge. I'm not going to jump. I'm just going to get back to the floor and get back to the show. Oh, you're going to use some there, but landing with there. Oh, <laughs> that's a big the monkey there. flip. And it's, he learned his lessons from last week. He's like, I'm not going to monkey, fl monkey flip high anymore. He's like, not again. And he's kind of scared him out of that option. But uh, that up token to cover yeah. that roll, really definitely a good option there. 
Uh, MVD has a little bit of over time. Oh, and the Mr. Saturn. You might, Saturn. You might see something funky. I, I, I know a lot know. of Peaches like to throw this away. They don't like to play this at all. So really? like, it can lose me the game. Because if you shield, if, Peach, if someone else gets it and Peach actually shield, they'll break it. And Peaches like lose like, all right, it's going to lose you the game. Let me throw it off stage. Mr. Saturn kind of just chilling on stage while this fight goes on. Oh, it's just walking. He's like, there's a battle happening. I'm just, <laughs> just going to walk. And everything's tricky. this all the way back right now. And I'm going to throw Mr. Saturn up. He wants to get back to it. So, oh, and there you oh, go, Mr. Saturn, RP. Yeah, and the thing about Mr. Saturn is like, it makes it add for such more um, aggressive game. Oh, this is a big oh opportunity, my God, he, he goes, goes way off. <laughs> he goes way off there. He's like, I see you charging. I'm going to come right after you. And see, that's the thing. That wing face uh, turn up just hit him so hard and put him off yep. stage. I didn't think he was expecting to go that far off stage. I don't. Off the hit, just I, off that turn up. I don't think so either. The wiki face uh, turn up, for those who don't know, 